Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues playing as the Republic of Three Rivers. And you might be wondering, what the heck is the Republic of Three Rivers? And that's a good question, we're here to learn. Protect the weak, defend your rights. Three Rivers is a tale of people who knew how to say, thus far no farther. Uh, a par uh, people who rose up against the ghoul, who would be king. Uh, stand on guard for one's liberties. No, the Three Rivers never fell by conquest. We accepted the king as a liberator, but he was a spontaneous choice of the people. Whatever our Manitoba says, we were always good as our king. To us, the relationship was of equals and friends. He provided military support, and we provided economic support. Subjects know we are citizens and obeyed him only due to our contractual obligations. Our relationship worked for a while. The king honored our rights, and we served the people. Our airships ferried to supplies to outposts and garrisons and equipped the Mounties with the finest weapons this side of the Great Lakes. But when the good king died, a ghoul lover crawled his way onto the throne, and things had to change. So maintained some of those stockpiles, air assault ships, but continuing contributing soldiers too. 30 army XP, airships. Uh, I, uh, I don't know if they're really worth it. Uh, the last time I used airship was a long, long time ago, and I don't think they got upgraded. Um, air assault ships, uh, ground attack is 40, which isn't bad. But try playing attackers, ground attack is 8. It's not terrible. Uh, I just take so much to produce them. 140 cost? This is, this is literally like a quarter of it. The range is very impressive. Ground attack is quite a bit. Agility is 10, though, which is really bad. Um, air defense is 4, air defense is 60. You know what? We'll take them. We'll still maintain some of the stockpiles. And build this land together. Craftsmen, farmers, and airship pilots all worked together in the revolution. It was not a mere secessionist movement. It was a people's war. The likes are not seen since the days of the CPF. Also, I'll let you know we are on A historical, so we'll see what happens. Which above, above which shine the northern lights, the maple leaf forever. Are we perfect? No, but just because we disagree about how to defend the ri our rights does not mean we will ever welcome the king back. Oh. Well, okay. The right to be wrong. Why did the Republic rise up? Ask a thousand different people and get a thousand different answers. For some, it started when the king passed war tax to conscript their youth to crush the Metis. What quarrel was that of ours? We would fight a f uh, why would we fight a faraway people who bothered us not? For others, it was the king's attempt to nationalize the airship industry. He didn't build that after all, and for some, well, the king's preference getting a bit long in the tooth. Can you really trust a leader who will go feral any day? If he wasn't going feral, he would have given in to our demands. No king could take our hard-earned wealth by force. Fifty caps, let's go get some guns. Uh, do we need guns? Yeah, we need guns. Too many cooks. Sadly, the Republic failed to finish off the kingdom. Even now, Gun the First plots in a war of despotism to take our homeland. To the west, the Admiral fights the good fight, but faces threats with him seven years ago. A cabal of monarchists and socialists plotted over to the Republic with a call of universal suffrage under good King Gun the First. Eloy Steel, the hero of the revolution, crushed the plotters with a whiff of grape shot, but not only but only now she has become the first minister for the Three Rivers. What a fate awaits us. Will she succumb to base populism and give every person a say? Will she seize the crown for herself, and if she tries, can the Senate and people stop her? The Senate stand ready to guard its liberties. People stand with the, their favorite. So this is Eloy Steele, which I'm sure I'm saying her name wrong. Uh, we have national spirits, divided government, which is very bad. Good God. We have backwards peasants, which is terrible. Which is good God. Really bad. Non-existent Air Force, which... I mean, most nations don't have a non-existent Air Force already, but it's really, really bad. And the Northern Lions, that's okay. It's not great. I would I prefer to get rid of that, too, but whatever. Um, in the meantime, we're led by the people. Also, we have different options here. A lucky draw. Riding Mountain Musketeers, Kingdom of Manitoba. Oh. Versus a second coalition. I guess we'll have to wait and see. I'm not sure which way we really want to go. Uh, Crackdown on rural unrest. Negotiate with the field workers. Arrest the ringleaders. The promise of land ownership. Build rural infrastructure. Compensate the landowners. Promote Republican ideal. Complete the re land reform, which wouldn't be too bad to do. Um, now down here we can do with a velvet glove. We can become the elites. We can do heart of steel. Or we can do on the wings of freedom, which looks amazing. Uh, the old world blues. You get a war with other people. It sounds like fun. Spot. Sophisticated special forces. Acquire vertebrates. Ooh. If you take up MacArthur. Down here, liberty and equality. Ooh. Mother of the Republic. Heart of Steel. Separation Church and State. Ooh. And then we have a with a velvet glove. A loyal military. Shared prosperity. Um and forced or attack and defense. That's that's interesting. Never really use those. Hudson Bay trade? Catching that's not good. Catching flies is really bad. Oh boy. Churchill, get a lot of factories. And remove it. Closing the deal. Well that seems okay. Um maybe let's go heart of steel, perhaps. So we need to go this way perhaps? Through here, and this one requires both of these. It doesn't really matter, and we want to go Hearts of Steel. So this one says we need to be elites. 
So we don't have to be elites. This one requires you to be intellectuals, basically. So not elites or intellectuals. Or to steal. Why not? Army of the Republic, the Free Navy. Not terrible. That's actually, not, that's actually quite good. The Aviation Club as well. Negotiate with the field workers. Well, since we're not a leader in intellectual, or intellectuals, and we're people in ruler. Backwards peasants. Quelled peasants. Um, my only concern about this one is can you get rid of that? Later on, R negotiate with the field workers. Crack down. Backwards peasants. Backwards peasants. Responsible land ownership. Um, I I, uh, I want to go with craft down and roll unrest for now just because of negotiating with them. That's nice and all, but you, you don't get a changes at all. So, And while the chill of the first harvest months arrive and our fields lay quiet, our crops begin to stagnate due to field work and unrest. Perhaps we shall approach with some general persuasion and get them back on track. I guess we could try. <laughs> the river trade's not terrible. Twin Lakes, welcome back. Oh, neutral zone. Okay. Jailing the Junta. Neutral zone. How do we... Because I, I do not explore this part of the map at all. This is led by Tom Brady. No, Tom Bradshaw. Close enough. He's an intellectual. This is definitely not Tom Brady. Um, Reconvene the council. The second coalition. Well, we'll deal with that later on. Um, well, we just thought freedom's best and brightest. So after that one, I guess the rest of the ringleaders, probably. Our investigations have proven that multiple figureheads were responsible for the surge of civilian unrest. These ringleaders are a threat to our prosperity and unity. We should see to the rest and proper punishment. Build rural infrastructure. I'll get the rivers or lands lush with resources and paths just waiting to be paved. But then comes the challenge of sprawling, unkempt wildlife. Let us tidy up our lands for so much needed infrastructure. Also, let's see. Ooh, actually, quite a few different guys here. Attack. attack 5% attack. 10% attack. 10% more attack. Bring your civilization like normal. Capital is gone. Wait, hold on. Before these guys die, it seems like these guys really struggle here quite a bit. The Brotherhood? Oh, it's the Aquaman Nation. No one have any focus street, which is totally fine. Washington Brotherhood, which I do want to play again. Even though it looks like it's pretty much the same focus tree as before, but, I don't know, maybe not. Um, we also have Olympus Tribe. Same as before. The Akuma, the Olympus Tribe. The Cause, though, led by Betty, actually has a somewhat unique focus tree, sort of-ish. But at least they have their own path of these guys down here, so that looks really fun. Victory in the north. So, and these guys struggle. The Washington Brotherhood struggles quite a bit, so. Um, other than that, so we're going to do these two. We got that one. Promote Republican ideals. Um, let's do compensate the line owners. After the recent ringleader arrest, management and worker structure among citizens have rustled. To smooth out any leftover contempt, let us see to compensating these line owners. Promote Republican ideal. Having established goodwill among the field workers has made them more willing to listen. As the nation grows, we must stay united on all fronts. First by labor, then by Republican ideals, and complete the land reform. Having rounded up the last of our troubles, it's time to complete the final stages of our land reform. Stripping the vexatious wells of the power and reinstating the responsible landowners to attend to our lands. That sounds like a great idea. Of course, once we look at this stuff as well, uh, looks like pretty normal, generic stuff. Nothing super unique. Simon Jenkins might be 15%. Might be a little different. Um, down here, friends in high places. That's pretty normal. Here on Morgan's pretty normal. Oh, that's not bad. That position's pretty good, but that's pretty normal. Yeah, all these seems pretty darn, uh, sort of generic. Expand Bureau of Intelligence. Snipping the buds of trouble before they bloom into catastrophes requires a careful, discreet eye at the root of our nation. Expanding a Bureau for operatives is in our best interests. And then we're going to do the Stainback Reclamation. As new landowners prosper, those near the edge of the border that Stainback have reported several skirmishes, conflicts, and general unruliness from our neighbors. We let the staying back toil on the uh, lonesome for too long. For a, less, for a lesser nation, we are no longer. Let us seize the land and make it better for all. Also, we're getting raided right now by the Roach King. So, also, these divisions are a little inexperienced because I did increase this to 12 combat width. It, they were just normal 12 or 10 combat width. But I figured we should probably pump up their numbers a little bit more. It's probably for the best. Well, other than that, not bad. Uh, we can go into that too. I hope we don't lose. For the love of God, please do not lose. Um, after the staying back thing, um, ru ruining it would be bad. Um, the army of the republic, maybe. Our fighters, our military fights so that others do not. We endure pain and long sleepless nights so that our lands are free from tyrants and other hands of mischief. To secure a prosperous future, we need to expand our military into something greater. Something more formidable. A grand army, perhaps, of the republic. I hope that we can get more army XP, so this way we can upgrade our guys. So this way, as... Even though they're battling right now, they still get more experience. Um, other than that, so far, not bad. 
Uh, we... That's not very good. Yeah, that's not good. Northern Lights sucks. Compensating the landowners, of course. Responsible landownership, which isn't too bad. Repair losses. That's German for a small loan? No, okay. And then Canadian Intelligence Agency, which is kind of interesting. And so now, military theorist. Conventional warfare. Um, land auction armory research speed. Plus, eh, I'll go with you for not for now, because you can. Why not? Uh, resource extraction key? Why not? Better not lose. So I'm not really sure which land auction I want to go down. I want to either go conventional warfare, refined warfare, probably not. Automated warfare, probably not. Ath asymmetric, and probably not outsider. So asymmetric, maybe. Hey, Red Repelled. Repelled multiple raiding parts from uh, the Roach King. It seems like they wanted to uh, slip by on notice between our border patrols. Uh, thankfully, our boys, of course, sure knew how to shoot and send it back to the papal lines with many busted kneecaps. It may be worth surfing up defenses of Winkler. Wow, that's not bad. If we struggle that much, I'm kind of okay with not doing that then, because I want to bait him into attacking us, maybe. So that'd be good for us. There's a 10, 12 combat width, and you need to be thicker to do any sort of damage. Any sort of flipping damage. So, Grand Army of the Republic, shall we? We shall. Also, we do have a couple of planes here to make sure that we do nice and okay like. Commoner's Rifle, Jones of the Revolution, Free Navy. New draft. Voice and militias, the new draft. Mobilization speed goes up by quite a bit. <coughs> Call up reservists. Because I do want to get down here quickly for to go to the Rod Roach as well. Kill them off. Uh, aviation, air bases, that's not bad. Um, resistors. Let's do the river trade maybe. Gifted us by the earth are the three streams that divide our lands. We would be fools to not invest in trade along these rivers. Mostly because we can. Which is pretty nice. We just need some more manpower as well, but you know, we'll get there. So they immediately go try to fight us. How thick are their divisions? Not that thick. Not as thick as I would assume if they just want to start beating the crap out of us. Which now we're at war. But still. I'd right, love to attack here, but with three divisions, that's not bad. Um, especially with air superiority. Uh, don't let him leave. Nice. Come on, get in there before they do. Oh, man, come on. There you go. Hey, a couple divisions encircled. That's not bad. Head on in. Yeah, these divisions aren't that strong. Uh, unreasonable demand. It's fine. Yeah, they're, they're not that thick. Which is fine with us, like I said. Uh, give us a little bit of time first. And we're going to go do next. Reset all problematic elements. Yeah. We're claiming Steinbeck has gone smoothly for the most part. There, of course, exists parks of rebellion and bold influence that churn trouble in the streets. We we'll quickly crack down and smoothen out these problematic elements and we're detaining the Steinbeck. Hey, we're major now. Go in. Can't quite win there, that's okay. Wow, look at that army XP. Um, that's case. I'll we'll actually use you and get both. Start really trying to get more of this army XP here. And we'll make you even thicker. Beautiful. Oh, are they at war? Ooh, if they take those guys out, then we get th th them as well, yeah. And just train. Uh, only 0.7 for now. I do want to get down to here as fast as possible, like I did say, but still. Um, Central Trade Hub. Cities are not bad. Purge the Rot. Oh, 30. Reduce it. Oh, that's not bad. Gary Arms Factories Productions. Have some faith. Robotics. Huh. Peaceful integration. Ooh. Securing our borders. I like both. I like all this stuff. But in the meantime, we will have to pass by at least a little bit. It's going to cost a little more manpower, but, you know, we'll see. River trade, not bad. 
What is this? Nope. Nope. Solve the energy shortage. Well, the Phoenix Field is not bad either. Tacoma Bridge. I mean, I would like to do this one. We'll go as far down as we can. But we might play this campaign two more times as well. Just to get down here and see what else I like, do it on the Wings of Freedom as well. I think that'd be worth it. Yeah, that'd be worth it. Where's the other research slot? Right there. But we need welcome back. Neutral zone. All core lands is owned by us, so we don't really can't really do anything about that right now. This one requires one of the following: new trap and recon troops. Not this side. So we can do either one of these two. So we'll probably do Generals of the Revolution, so we can just beeline down the central central path here. And here I was, downtrodden my luck with a broken leg, and maybe it was two. I stopped chicken once I hit the ground and couldn't get back up. Then there they were. Wilson and Swift ripped through the smoke and dragged me to safety while shouting commands to the guys running past us. If anyone deserves a promotion, it's those two. The three river soldiers. The new draft. <laughs> Our new commanding officers have inspired our citizens living near the rougher marshes to take up arms for the communities. The knowledge and the lay of the land sets them apart from other militia. Let's give them the resources and training they need to be efficient. Call up upon reserves or reservists. In these dire times, we need all the hands we can get for as many tasks ahead. Call upon the reservists, let them know we need them more than ever. For without a wield welding hand, there's no future. Joined arms exercise. Our new draft of fighters and future molders are slowly acclimating to their duties. Our main army can show them a thing or two. Let's conjoin the routines. And our service war games. Well, we reprimanded officers from playing with the war table pieces in the past. It's come to our attention that scripting and acting a hypothetical war situations could massively benefit us, of course, with more real war tactics and less dramatic sound effects. But he's stepping on the roach. <clears throat> Whispered tales tale of a vile, incomprehensible man from the south. They say roaches and irradiated plants heed his every command. We're not sure that how that is, but one thing's for certain. The roach must be squashed. So right now, we're still making more divisions. We're trying to get more um, saws. Obviously, we don't have that many. Plane's looking okay. Could use definitely quite a bit more, but political power-wise, almost one a day. Almost one. We're so close. Um, what else could we do around here? Frontline operative, that's pretty good. Attack and defense. Army XP gains, not bad. Less training time, better reconnaissance, better decryption. Braxton Travis, not bad. Malvin Reynolds, not bad. Oh, these guys just, they're alright. As much as I want to go down here, I'm mean, trying to get rid of divided government because it's just so god awful. It's so bad. Non existent Air Force. Oof. Um, the Northern Lights, like we said earlier, really bad. But we do have old world loudspeakers, which is not bad. And then we have unassuming refugees. I guess that's why we get so much more political power now, huh? The Roach King is going to war with a lot of people. So, um, there you go. That, more naval stuff, because why not, I guess? We did get this one tiles court as well. So, you know what? They go to war with more people. And that just means we get more territory. Hopefully in the end. Hopefully we get more territory. Hopefully we don't lose. That would suck if we did lose. But let's get to the Dinamite. And anti-tank rifles as well. Let's get found something. Nice. Encryption, decryption. And anti-tank rifles. Interceptor war games are very nice. Something on the roach. Free Poland. Huh. Well, okay then. <coughs> now the truest friend of the revolution demos. Call upon an old friend. Oh, that's not bad. Aaron Chapman. Oh, he gets because up here anyways. Okay. Because we do want to get, to, like I said, down here as fast as we possibly can. So, I guess after this... Oh, well, there's also an Iron Brigade. If you complete a focus to unlock power armor, you'll gain power armor units. So why would you do this first? Come on. Huh. Uh, there is never progress without harsh measures. These methods have been condoned for their crude nature. Bombastic. Even void is a change without good old reliable dynamite. Ooh. Not bad. Of course, we do 63%. Stability now, which is not bad. Aaron, Aaron. Okay, Aaron. Oh, we'll get him anyways. So call upon an old friend. That'd be nice. So we don't even have to worry about that one. Um, over here, you know what? Screw it. Just go ahead and grab. Oh, there goes Diana. The Lachinsky Engineering. Just because we're going to be using it probably the entire time anyways, so that'd be fine. Just build, 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 build. I mean, oh, okay. So one thing about this, like we did earlier, you got to make sure when you click on it. That you do not disable the mechanic, or you won't be able to get any upgrades, which is really not good. Uh, but it's 100,000. Manpower report at 10 divisions, gives a 6 to 12. Ooh. Oh no. Please don't kill these guys off too fast. I personally want them. Actually, who is this? Church of the Silo. Twice in two lifetimes. Uh, they don't have a unique focus tree, which means we probably have to manually justify on them. Sending manual prospectors. Stepping on the ropes is good, though. And what else? 
Just run another evolution. Let's see how they're going to do first before we set, really send our guys out. Because we do need to train our guys a little more. Some more tap. Call upon an old friend. As we prepare our upcoming war with Minotoba, a day wasted is a step closer to our demise. Call upon our oldest friends, chieftains in arms. Shall they answer the call? Victory will shine clear. These guys might be losing their war. 6 of 10. You know what? Screw it. I'll start just fighting you guys too. Oh, well. Probably should stop training them first. They did get encircled though. Which is not very good. So, down with you guys. We'll attempt to be fair in this beast deal, but, you know. We'll attempt. This costs a little bit more. We might just go with every cap of the army anyways. That might just be for the best. So they've lost 224. They've lost a little bit more. 8 to 11, 5 to 11. It might be equal, but, you know, whatever. As long as we kill both these groups out, well, whatever. Yeah. Fall upon old friend and free Poland. Actually, which one do we need for free Poland? All oh, Coralands owned by them, so we have to wait anyways. Oh, they died. Oh, I was going to take a while to get them this as well. Apologize for the clicking. You know, we'll have a really thin line. They can have a lot of territory. There you go. So now, that's why we started just fighting on them too. And we'll have to do something like this. Roughly equal. But, what else do we have here? Scrap motor motorcycles. Dogarinos. Yes. Train doggies, nice. Um, basic weaponry, research, yes. Call upon an old friend, yes. And uh, focuses, why not? One fist of iron, the other of steel. As our ambitions grow, so must our arms. Without enough enforce to keep the peace for our planned expansion, ruin, ruliness, and crime will soon spiral. Without order, people become fools and animals. It's our moral duty to keep evil at bay. Just in time for a little bit more conflict. They immediately start attacking us. Look at that. Nice. We're not ready for this yet, but we'll do that anyways. It's fine. Go in if you can. One, two divisions. Struggling here, but they should be doing better than this. Also, do we have any planes down here? Probably not. Go ahead. Oh, I can't do that one? No, that sucks. Ah, oh, screw it's gonna cost a little bit more, but it helps out a little bit better. There you go. Getting more attack, especially when we don't have a lot of attack anyways, is a good idea. Battle plans, nice. Of course we did go conventional warfare just because we can, and uh, well, I think it'd be probably best. I want to do wasteland warfare, but it just doesn't seem very strong, especially if you use infantry, so... Force attack category. Okay, I just found something that's good. Oh, a little radar, not so bad. Um, really, if you guys can hold those guys there and you just snake yourself around just a little bit, that'd be great. Oh, well, we kind of already did it. Nice. Battle for Hoover Dam, as we're doing some battles up here too. Uh, free Poland. And so, with all great endings, the king falls. Yet, there are still many loose ends to sniff and burn. Let us get to work and free Poland from its terrible infestations. Ah. You guys are not quite cut off just yet. Once we get down here. Then, yes. Ooh, where are you all going? How many men have we lost? 91 versus 1,000. Using a lot of infantry here. We don't have really special forces yet, but we will eventually. We have 50 there. Miracle in Boulder City. 
Huh. When I played as Gensio the first time, these guys died. Oh, they're actually fighting the Shi. Look at that. Shell's army against Eden. High Chapel, Heaven's Gate's dead. MacArthur's looking pretty good in itself. Oh, look at that. That's pretty nice. Go and get ready to finish them off. Of course, we did get 10% more attack, which is awesome. I mean, either that, you can circle another division. They have six max. They lost 2,000. We lost about 100. No longer suffering for the draft, and there we go. Go on in. Uh, uh, you cut them off. They can't do anything against you. Ta -da. As much as I want to kill them off as fast as possible, I'm, I don't want to because I want to get more army XP. So. Go on in. Nice. Defender of the Republic. We must continue to spread the call to action in a future where men live without kings and rile up the spirits of our defenders and those who would be. With their hearts they rally, with their spirits they concur. Beautiful. We got roaches, huh? I'm not sure that's a good thing or a bad thing. Do we have two peoples? No, if we don't. Dram? Do we have Dram here? Uh, excuse me, game. Um, dramatic theatrics. The public of three rivers is AI controlled. Oh, opinion must be really high. Well, there's a lot of political power, maybe. You gotta wait for those guys. Peoples. The People's Volunteer Corps over here, which we can unlock eventually. Requires lock and step, which is not bad. But, if that's the case, two peoples, yeah, might just be free territory for us. But it's going to take a long time to get them all ready and going just fine. Oh, boy. We're pretty much training definitely. Keep adding more divisions to this one army group. That's not bad. Um, depends on the people. Not bad. And then a free Poland, of course, and cut a deal with Prince Albert. It'd be wise to reach out to potential kings or potential allies for upcoming wars against kingdom. Let's see if Prince Albert will muster his courage. He may be. He might. So, we'll see. Oh, basic weaponry. That'd be better to get, yeah. Um, more defense, yes, please. Many prospectors. Some more goods, yes please. Field fortifications are nice as well. Defense of the Republic, a free Poland. And the Heart of Steel. Even as a young commander, I had seen the cost of war, of bureaucrats, and rebels, of men in strife. Never in my career had I imagined a single call would have granted me the presidency of the Republic, but it happened, and I stand here uncontested. The people know you are in good hands, so they don't really leave all you can. It'll all you steal. And as we keep going down that way, we're out corruption. Um, wow. The Northern Lights. Minus 30%. Well, it's not bad. We get minus 8%. Do some stuff, though. And lock step. Curtail the merchants. Get a lot more ruler instead of elites. Look at all these old believers. Advanced sophisticated infantry attack. The mad trains. Tortured civilization, the unbounds. The false state. Moose Jaw, keeping her word, Liberty for Grand Stampedes. Oh, that's cool. So we'll go do this one, get a cut a deal with Prince Albert, Heart of Steel as well. And then we're going to keep expanding, maybe up here perhaps? Because we'll start justifying other people, like relax brewing laws. The reason for shuffle and land ownership has ruffled many. <clears throat> Stress and low morale is the bane of any great nation. So why don't we lack some brewing laws and give our citizens more chances to, to unwind? <clears throat> Excuse me. Doesn't swallow through. Cut our losses. 
Um, this is Trade Hub. Mm, or hand out beer rations. I like that one. The new change to the brewing laws have cultivated joyous culture around what is now a staple to many. Beer flows like water, warming the stomachs and spirits. A uh, <clears throat> perfect fix for a disgruntled soldier. But if you enjoy the, this shorter vi video than normal, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. I'll also continue expanding our nation. Thanks for watching. Have a great, 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 great Republic of Three Rivers rest of your day.